today's recipe, we're making zucchini fritters. Now I've got a little healthy spin on these in that I'm gonna be replacing some of the white flour with some almond flour, which will cut down on some carbs. These are quick and easy to make. I think you're gonna love them. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, let's start off with chef joke number one. Number two's coming a little bit later, so stay tuned. All right, so why did the squash start going to the gym? because she wanted to get ready for zucchini season. So here's our ingredients. This is what we'll need. We'll need uh, about a pound and a half of zucchini. Mine's organic. We'll need some green onion, which I'm going to chop up nice and small. We'll need some white flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, which is gluten-free, but you feel free to sub in regular flour if you like. I'm using equal parts of the white flour along with this here. This is almond flour, and I got this at uh, Trader Joe's. We'll need a little garlic powder. I've got some Parmesan cheese here that's uh, finely grated. And I have some fresh basil here. It is definitely something you need to put in. Don't skimp this or skip this step because it makes a big difference. And we'll need some salt and pepper. So here's an important thing that you've got to know about making zucchini fritters. You've got to get as much of the water out of the zucchini before we cook it as you possibly can. And the way we're gonna do that is we are going to first take our zucchini, we're gonna cut off one end, and then you're gonna take a grater and you're gonna use, I like to use the finest little grate on here, see this right here? And you're gonna grate your zucchini. Then we'll place the zucchini into a bowl. And you can kinda of hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's pretty soppy, soppy wet. <laughs> Then we're gonna add some salt to that. And what the salt's gonna do is gonna draw out the water. And we're gonna let this sit for about 10 to 20 minutes. Just depends. And you can kind of mix it in a little bit. And just let it sit and that water's gonna come right out of it. So while the zucchini's doing its thing, I put it in a strainer over here just to uh, help it just be easier to drain out the water. You take your onions and just slice those up. Now the beautiful thing about this recipe is it's very customizable. You can add and subtract things to it. Uh, you know, add other vegetables, add other, you could do shredded carrots, for example. Uh, parsley would work well. You just, it's just, you know, chives. You can do pretty much whatever you want. The key though is to get that water out of the zucchini. Now everybody's gonna do it differently and some people get more water out than others and so you can play with this this recipe is also very forgiving so let's say it's too wet all right you're starting to mix up your zucchini and everything in the bowl and it's just too wet what do you do well you can add more flour to it and that would work just fine so i like the super fine dice on my onions so i chop mine pretty small so i'm going to place everything into my big bowl here everything except for the zucchini right now. So we're gonna to toss in the onions. I still have to cut up the basil, but we'll do that in just a second. Here's my almond flour, the gluten-free flour, garlic, and the Parmesan cheese. I know it might look like a lot, but it's really kind of fluffy and very light. It's very fluffy. <laughs> so now we're gonna take several leaves of our basil and we're gonna roll it up and give it a slice. Now I love using basil. It's my favorite herb. It just adds so much brightness and, and just freshness to recipes. It just makes them so much better. Don't try and use the dried stuff. Just, I would just leave it out. <laughs> That's how much I like the, the fresh. So there's my basil. I'm gonna add some pepper to this and you can be, you know, pretty generous with it. And if you like garlic, you can even add more than I did. I put a half a teaspoon, but you could go, you know, even a teaspoon. And I'm gonna put that egg in there and, you know, use a nice large egg, or even if you went with two eggs, that would be okay too, especially if they're on the smaller side. So now we're gonna extract the water as much as we can out of the zucchini. And I think you can see just from it sitting here, how much, look at that, how much liquid has come out already just on its own. All right, so now you can just kind of, you can squeeze it, push it down through this if you want. I like to just grab it with my hand and squeeze. 
you, if you have a cheesecloth, that'll work great too. But just squeezing it, all that. We're gonna get about a cups full of liquid out of this thing. And that's what that salt does. That salt really helps to extract that liquid. All right, before I add this zucchini, I'm just gonna give this a little stir just to kind of mix things up. Like I said, if things turn out a little too dry, well, guess what? We can add some of that zucchini juice right back in here. But we'll see how it turns out. So I like to break up the zucchini a little bit since I smushed it into a big bowl. It'll make it easier to blend it in evenly. And if you want another thing to do with that leftover zucchini juice, well, you could put that in a smoothie or even some soup that you're making. That's a couple of ideas. All right, so we'll just blend this up. Now our other options, we could add another egg to this if we wanted to. But I think this is mixed up nicely. But I like it a little firm like this because then I can easily make little patties out of it. Just before we start cooking our fritters, I just wanted to share with you chef joke number two. You ready? This one's an easy one. What is a zucchini's favorite sport? Squash. <laughs> All right, we're ready to cook. I have a large frying pan here over medium, not quite medium high, just between medium and low, okay? And then I'm gonna place, I like to place just a little bit of olive oil in here. I don't like to, you know, really load up the pan and let that get hot. Now, there's another important thing you have to remember when you're cooking these now. This is the second so, sort of tip that I wanna share with you. It's about, you know, the first one is getting that water out of the zucchini. The second one is when you make these little patties, you wanna make sure that they're not too thick. So about a quarter of an inch is, you know, enough. If they get too thick, they'll cook and get too crispy on the outside and then they won't be cooked on the inside. You want something like this. Now, I was able, because mine are dry enough, I was able to handle them almost like a, a you know, a ground beef patty. If it doesn't work that way for you, you can put it right in the pan and then just push it down with your fingers or the spatula or whatever works for you. And you'll be adding oil to this pan as they cook. All right, we'll lay our first patty in there. Push it down, make sure it's not too thick. My heat's on medium. And I'll just add some more in there, so. Now, like I said, you can smash it with your hands or you can put it in the pan and then smash it down. Now, kind of, you know, I don't have a lot of oil in the pan, but I like to kind of just move it around to get underneath it. Now, how do you know when they're ready to turn over? Well, there's a couple things. First of all, you know, they're gonna cook three or four minutes and you're gonna start to see this crispy edge underneath here. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's starting to form. And then, so that's your second clue. And then the other clue is, well, Let's have a peek. Let's look under there. Ah, they're getting nice and toasty. Adjust your flame as necessary. If you think it's cooking too fast, turn it down. All right, I'm gonna flip these over. It's been about three minutes. And you can see they're nice and golden brown, a little crispy there. That's what you want. All right, so here we go. Simple and easy, quick. It's a very quick recipe. And you can garnish it up with a little bit of sour cream or, you know, Greek yogurt or, you know, and add some spices to it if you want. I like to do just a little dab right there in the middle. And uh, I like to use my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Like I said, it's got that nice crispy edge on the outside. It's nice and soft and tender and creamy on the inside. Very delicious. You're gonna love this. You might wanna try another zucchini recipe of mine that is very popular and very delicious, and that's grilled zucchini with some basil and lemon. It's a super easy recipe to make, and you're gonna love it. I'm gonna leave a link for you right here. Click that, go make it, let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button for me, and leave me a comment. We'll see you next time.